I shouldn't have to be forced. I should want to do this for myself. Older women really be dumber than young women. You and Safra. <laughs> That's just me. I love my accent. I have no plans of changing it. This is the forbidden part of the bread for me. I don't eat that. My hair is an accessory and I'm cutting it off. Clean out the bacteria under the armpits. Looking all crazy. Just showered, washed my hair, love that for me. I did a shampoo and conditioner situation, got on my robe. But I wanna to talk to you a little bit about Rituals. I partnered with them for this portion of the video to talk to you about some of their products. Now, if you watched my video from last year, it was a Sephora sale. I had talked about the actual foaming shower gel, which I love. I literally and actually am just about done with this one. This is the Ritual of Karma. Do good and good will come your way. It's a shower foam and it is fantastic. But I wanna tell you about their Ritual of Sakura Body Cream. Now it's called the Magic Touch Body Cream. It's got organic rice milk and cherry blossom in it. It is so good. I have been making my way through this little by little because <sighs> talk about goodness. I just lotioned my whole body with it. It is definitely like luxury at home. At home, on travel, you know I love fragrance. And if you love fragrance, if you love cherry blossom, this particular one is so good. My husband and I have burned through so many of the foaming shower gels. I love this cream. I'm doing a giveaway with Rituals. That's, they're gonna see more of that on my IG. But here, I wanna tell you about a free sampling of this body cream, which is their best selling body cream. Their slogan is to find happiness in all the small things. And I love that, okay? All right, here's what the sample would look like. And all you have to do is use the link in my description box to get the free sample. Let me just tell you, first of all, if you like free like me, don't skip the description box. Number two, if you love fragrance like me, you gonna want this sample. I just love even the way that they package things. Even this is giving me luxury. So make sure you click the link in my description box to get your free sample. I mean, don't pass up on free because I don't like to pass up on free, all right? And then after you watch this vlog, go look at my IG post because the giveaway is huge. I'm showing the box of things that Ritual sent to me, which I cannot wait to dig into. And let me do my skincare because my face is getting dry. Hello. We don't want that. We don't want that. Ow, 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 ow. We don't need that in our lives. Here we go. All right. It's the morning time. It's the morning time. Yeah. Who's calling me? Oh, hi. Phone calls. Um, in demand today. Hi. Back from LA, you know what I'm saying? From Hollywood. Hollywood. And first, a beauty got me stocked up like nobody's business. Yo, first of all, where am I gonna put all this stuff? But that does not mean <laughs> y'all should slow down. You see what I'm saying? I'll figure it out. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Lots of goodies here. Oop, excuse me. Hi. Lots of goodies here. Also got some goodies from Fresh. Praise his name. Thank you to Fresh. Like, come on. We gonna find a way. Listen, I picked up some foundations on my studio shoot in LA, which make me so happy. Oh, here it is. I thought I forgot it there. Listen, the Lancome Tanti Doll, I had never tried it until I was in the studio on set. In Hollywood, L. And my shade is 555 Suede C. Yo, this joint, forget it. I'm about to be using it all day. Already tried this. You've seen the video. NARS, we already know what it is. Fenty, my summer color is 470, although I have 460 and 70. 470 is my summer color. I could make both work, but 470 works best. The new Too Faced Born This Way, my color is co cocoa. I used to wear spiced rum back in the day, but it's cocoa, you heard? So yeah, anyway, ooh, and I got some Amazon items. I guess it's best if I put them on, but I'm gonna link these because you need them really 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 great suction power different colors because who doesn't want to taste the whole entire rainbow hello i'm gonna do a recap of my hollywood trip in a video just so it's all in one place but very grateful to have even gone there listen i'm about to have my therapy session in a little bit i also want to work out i didn't wake up on time happy new vlog by the way excuse me <laughs> happy new week right like what's happening right now i need to wash my hair i need to style my hair i need to get ready for my meeting today sephora squad meeting today hello i also would love to sleep you know i'm a doer right so when i got home yesterday i unpacked my bag i was doing a little bit of this a little bit of that just all kind of things you understand i mean <laughs> 
I was going and going and going the minute I got back. And that's just me and how I operate. But I did go to bed semi-early. It was nine something. That wasn't early enough at all, but it was what it was. Listen, I'm about to be burning the Forever Mood Grown Folks business. I'm so sick about it because this is the last of this set from Thanksgiving. <laughs> I was taking my time. I was burning all of my bath and body. I said, wait a minute, Forever Mood costs way too much and it smells way too good to be out here haphazardly burning it. I had to take my time with it, you feel what I'm saying? And then now in the living room, because my Bath and Body Works candles are done, I'm burning the spring. You know, she had the purple and the pink set I bought months ago. I'm now burning that. Well, I'm about to go burn it right now. Oh, they're so strong and fantastic that I burned them very sparingly. I also got a set from Voluspa, these little tiny candles, which are so stinking cute. This one is, I don't know, man. You got to say that for me. What's that? What does that say? What do you think that says? I don't know, but my nails are off. They painted my nails gel. My cuticles are dry. But here's a gel, a very natural looking gel. Praise his name. Listen, I wanted to work out before my therapy appointment. I got 30 minutes and I suppose I could do one of those 20 minute sessions. I should, right? Encourage me, force me. I shouldn't have to be forced. I should want to do this for myself. I know that I should do this. Let me go ahead and do that. <laughs> I know that I should do this. Let me do that. Who's texting me? Hi. Vanessa Forest Squad meeting. Let me log in to the room we're supposed to be in right now. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Good morning. How is everybody? I'm Minna. I am based here in Houston, Texas. I am, I moved here to Houston 11 years ago from Rhode Island, not to be confused with Long Island in New York. However, you might hear similarities with the accent. I love my accent. I have no plans of changing it. Family, we are from Ghana, West Africa. Although again, moved here from Rhode Island to Houston. I grew up as a tomboy, absolutely hated makeup, but it was stupid and now look right <laughs> i actually started doing makeup second year grad school so it hasn't been that long although i know because i know for some people they've done makeup since they're like in middle school high school that wasn't my that wasn't my case at all i let's see fun facts i guess those are all kind of fun facts i don't know if you know anyone from rhode island unless you live in new york right or connecticut <laughs> when i was younger was an extra in amistad which was filmed in part in newport rhode island so that's how that happened i'm right-handed but I can write with my right hand backwards in print and in cursive. Something I learned while bored in high school. That's a little fun fact. Oh, sorry, wait, my, my throwback picture, sorry. Oh, this yeah. is an old picture from actually 2013. I, when I started doing makeup in graduate school, I was a freelancer, I worked at Mac, and this is a picture in Mac with their very orange and bright light. And that was my first time doing a cut crease. I didn't know how to do it. I was self-taught with makeup, so I figured all of it out on my own. And at this point, I had learned the cut crease. I thought I was, I thought I was doing something. Okay, we just finished a portion of today's training with Sephora, and I'm turn. I just ate a granola bar. Turn it on my camera really fast again to film another video. And if I get around to it, maybe two videos, depending on how much time I got. I have 15 minutes. I can film one video right now. I just had a granola bar. That'll be enough to hold me over till. The meeting is over, I'm sure. Watch me, watch me do it. Watch me, watch me do it. Multitasking, okay. Not the uh, interlude music bumping like this. Hold on. Is this Spotify? Where is it at? I hope it's not copyrighted. And then you got the garbage truck going by. I can't even do it. I can't even do it. I can't even do it. This eyelash is acting. I just want to be with you. Oh, sometimes I find myself feeling distant. I don't like it, am I tripping? Cause I'm a Christian, why do I feel like this? I'm feeling 
kind of distant. Yo, I am so annoyed. I'm sitting here inhaling. I just inhaled this. What I do? I did peanut butter and banana on toast. I did low carb toast. Let me show it to you. He's making rivers in the desert. Ever heard of Sola? I eat Sola. It's low carb sweet oat. And I put it, I use, let me stop this podcast. It's weird talking and listening to something at the same time. I just made peanut butter and banana on toast. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Here's what's left in it. The top part and the bottom part. Do you eat that part of the bread? Tell me. This is the forbidden part of the bread for me. I don't eat that. But the peanut butter situation was so good. I want to make another one. And my Walmart groceries are not here yet. So I'm going to just make these. Although I never eat these pieces unless I'm really hungry. And I am. I have not eaten today. So I'm going to toast those up and then do some more peanut butter. It was so good. Clubhouse be doing something different now. The notifications when someone is speaking looks like a text message. So I'm here looking like, who's texting me? And it's Clubhouse telling you that someone is talking. And it just, excuse me, it just comes down like a, like a text message. That is strange. I used to be on Clubhouse a lot, I stopped. I just be feeling like, okay, first of all, I don't know what's going on with it. Now I see way too many rooms, rooms that I'm not even interested in. And then what, like, what are they talking about? It's a, it's a lot of energy that is really unnecessary. And I find that these kinds of, oh, I took my hair down. <laughs> We haven't even talked about it. Hi. I have my wig on, but I took it off. I find that these kinds of conversations, they can really get you worked up for no reason, arguing with people that you don't know when you really could just be sitting somewhere with your heart rate down. This is a conversation. I can't stand a man that earns less, right? Okay. So then you're going to go into this room and then start debating with someone that has a contradictory opinion than yours and get all worked up. And then it's like, then your whole day is ruined. Why? I've just learned not even to go in rooms like that because, <sighs> oh, this is a room. Black love isn't recycling another man's wife. What does that mean? Recycling, reusing another man's wife. So black love isn't adultery. Is that what they're saying? See, that's the kind of room I could go in and it could go real left or it could already be left. And then here we are. Oh God, this room was called the hole in the wall. What? Older women really be dumber than young women over men. I don't even know how this algorithm even populated these kinds of, you know, they got all the kind of random rooms in here, but <sighs> anyway. Ooh, this is hot. Ooh, bless God. Bless his holy night. I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere with that. And that's the problem. I'm about to butter my peanut butter my toast, you heard? And then go shower. I showered already this morning before I went to the pool. I'm just really big on smelling good at all times. And I have so many products, praise his name, that I'm like, uh, the only way to get the use out of these products is to <laughs> use them continually. Now I get it. It could dry out my skin, but today I used a body serum that it was my first time using it but yo it is so good i'm gonna show it to you i'm gonna go shower and use it again and oh it was nice and rich it was nice and rich and fantasimo you know how fantasimo is just one of those words that i like to use do you eat your bananas like this or do you feel like that's gross on the inside there are no bruises it is ripe soft and ripe do you feel like ripe bananas are gross my husband won't eat ripe bananas because it makes him want to throw up <laughs> ah, and here i am cutting them onto my toast you know in a very fancy way why why does everything have to be a song why does everything have to be a song? Why does everything have to be a song? <laughs> Yo, do you follow Church of Laughs on IG? <gasps> First of all, my toast is a little bit on the dark side. It's a little bit well done. Praise him. Okay, but well, here we have it. He's worthy. He's able. He really is. He really is able.
to do exceedingly, you know what I'm saying? And abundantly, you know what I'm saying? More than you and I can imagine, ask or think. Look at this toast. Is this not phenomenal? Do you see this? We're not even in Zoom. That's the problem. Hi. I need to do my nails again. You know what I'm saying? So that is part of my list this weekend. Tonight we're going to dinner, praise his name. And I want to have nails on. Oh, but I wanted to rest. Let me just eat my toast, okay? Let's just start there. Let's just start somewhere. Oh, you better come on with us, Monster Ship. Welcome back to another video. She's so gorgeous. I love this new hair, girl. This new hair is giving. Join, subscribe, and hit the like button, y'all, so our family can grow and see our videos. Today is going to be a vlog. All right, I'm about to do my skincare in the bathroom right now. I'm, I am going to start off with the cleansing balm because we already talked about this. You do want to make sure you cleanse your face with a cleansing balm, even though you don't have makeup on, because you are wearing SPF. Ideally, you should make sure you are. Make sure you have on your. SPF girl is very, very important. You may not notice the effects of the UV, A, and B rays right away, okay? But over time, we ain't trying to do it all that. So make sure you have on your SPF, praise his name. I'm gonna wash my, uh, rinse this off, wash my face, do a mask, go in the shower, wash my body, wash my hair. Thinking, yeah, I should wash my hair. What, should, what style should I do? I, 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 did, I do wash my hair in the braids. Let's talk about that. I do wash my hair in the braids, but it's time for me to take these braids out. I'm ready for a new look. What should I do? I have this kinky ponytail thing that I do like. I haven't done it in a long time. And I saw, gosh, what's her name? Dang it. Oh. Anyway, I follow someone and she did a high kinky ponytail the other day. And I was like, yo, I have that ponytail. I should do mine because it's really cute. It was really, really cute on her. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do that or maybe I'll do a pulled back bun. I do love the pulled back bun look on me. I love all these things on me. <laughs> I want to give the wig a break. But you know me, I like changing my hair. I was also the other day thinking, well, what if I braid my hair again? And I know y'all gonna throw up. You gonna throw up because you're like, wait a minute. You do braids for two seconds. Like, what you mean, right? And I know, I know it pains those of you who do your braids for three months, two months, month and a half. You're like, how could you do that? But here's the thing. I just like to change things up. I like to change things up. You see what I'm saying? So, well, obviously... I'm not gonna braid my hair, although I am tempted. Maybe some cornrow, maybe some booty length cornrow. We gonna figure it out, you know what I'm saying? We gonna see. Don't be shocked. <laughs> I do have the hair. I did go and buy the hair. I have about six packs of braiding hair. The 20, what is it? It's, it's the real, 36 inches, I don't know, 26 inches, or something like that. 32 inches, I have the real long hair already stacked. So I'm ready to braid my hair whenever I need to. So let's see. If I do the high, if I do the high kinky ponytail, which is wicked long, the hair is so long, my hair would need to come like right here. So I would need to put my hair all the way up. And then because we're going to dinner tonight, I would need to, see I have to think all these things through <laughs> and think through the time that I have. So I would need to sit under my hair dryer, but I wanna lay down. So sitting under a hair dryer, is it going to be? This is my thought process. Look at my hair though. <sighs> Gosh, if you've seen my vlog before, you've seen me blow dry my hair. Part of what I wanna do to my hair too is get it silk pressed just because I wanna see my hair down my back. Yeah. And then of course I wouldn't mind a trim. Let me trim my hair once myself and I didn't do a great job. I just trimmed it. It just was what it was. <laughs> So there's that. Listen, my hair is an accessory and I'm cutting it off. And I don't know when, but when I cut it off, y'all gonna see. Wait, what, 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 what's Walmart saying? Walmart, do not leave my stuff outside. I've been told y'all that. I don't like bugs, okay? Six minutes away, praise God. Good. You ain't gonna just leave my stuff outside. I do not like that. There are bugs outside, I can't do that. Okay. Mm, my hair smells good. Like I said, I, I washed it in the braids. So let's think, let's think, let's think. What hairstyle am I doing? Because that dictates what I do. <laughs> that dictates literally what I do in the shower. Because in the shower, while my hair is wet, I put the braids in, the two braids going back. My hair, natural hair, in my experience, in my opinion, is easily more easily manipulated while wet, especially while 
after after immediately conditioning it so just wet with water it ain't gonna do what you need gonna be all tangly and tight and all this stuff but if you are conditioning it con co-washing it whatever i i condition my hair i co-wash my hair with conditioner some might not like that idea but that's what i do and look at my hair so it works for me i don't buy co-wash products i just use conditioner so let's think about this hold on we still have not decided what are we deciding what hairstyle should i do the high bun that'll be kind of cute today's saturday that'll take me till monday it's a cute look though and then tomorrow's church and tonight's dinner i could do that but i'm waiting on my driver let me at least get my face mask on all right let me wash my face i'm watching the tracker on the app you can track your driver's car this better be accurate because i don't need my stuff outside you hear what i'm saying i do not need my stuff on the, on the ground okay let's do that nighttime version of this Olay cleansing and nourishing body wash I love the night one because it has retinol in it so I'm gonna link these things below in case you want it really really good this is a daytime one with well you can use that night too if you don't want to do retinol on your body this is hot has hyaluronic acid in it so I hope it's gonna be nourishing I'm sure it will be we always use this dove body wash which is great so I got this in addition to the Olay one we this is just our staple we use this this is really really good and I got benzoyl peroxide wash I've heard from dermatologists on YouTube that if you have back knee, you can use benzoyl peroxide cleanser or a benzoyl peroxide cleanser on your body to shower. Can you imagine? So obvi, I'm not gonna put this on my face, although I could because it's for acne, but my acne issue is only on my chin. I, ooh, what? Oh, this is some product. In no way, shape or form, need this for my whole face that's just too much i'm sticking with the gentle cleansers but if you do have acne this is something you can use oh and it says it here so it says here face i've never purchased this before in my life so i didn't know it actually says it i thought it was a face cleanser that we we're being told we can put in our body but it actually says it here that's for face chest back so it's telling us to use it on the body Fantasimo. So I'm going to do that. And I also heard from a dermatologist that this can be used, was it this? Under the armpits to clean out the bacteria under the armpits, the odor causing bacteria in your armpits. Can you imagine? That is fantastic. Now that is not here, but Dr. Dre on IG, I remember she said that. It had to be her because it wasn't Dr. Lessa Stevens. It was Dr. Dre, D-R-A-Y. She mentioned this for the armpits, but totally for the back. I'm going to use it on my back right now in the shower. My back did clear up from a few days ago, but it be acting up. So I'm going to use them. Put this in the shower. Looking forward to that. Fantastic. So yeah, now let me do my face mask and then, and then go in the, and then go in the actual shower. Let me spray my face. Let me tell you how fantastic this product is. This was sent to me, I actually got it a few days ago from Bosha. Is that how you say it? Bosha. This is phenomenal. It's a peptide youth restore firming body serum. This is not like any other serum that I have tried for the body. Even the Necessaire one, the niacinamide, is it hyaluronic acid serum by Necessaire? is more loose than this one it's more runny this one is thicker but not like a cream it's still a serum i love how the cap is on this you twist it and then you squeeze and when you finish you twist it back have you ever tried this this stuff is so good yo <laughs> i've never even heard of this before it is so good you get 8.4 ounces it is so rich 
I'm talking about head to toe richness. I'm talking about I can, like even me wiping my chest, I can feel the creaminess of the product. If you like that, you just look into this. I'm gonna link it below. And I've been using the each and every aluminum free deodorant. It was so funny. My sister sent me this meme where they were like, it's the summertime. Don't be trying to experiment with aluminum free deodorants. It made me laugh so badly. So it made me laugh, but I'm enjoying it. To be honest, I don't have armpit problems. Yeah, I'll sweat, but I don't have armpit BO problems. I've been enjoying it. This is the lavender and lemon one. I have a few other scents. I almost said flavors. <laughs> oh, I saw a lemon on here. I have a few other scents in my stash. I've been enjoying it. No aluminum, no parabens, no synthetic fragrance, no baking soda, no gluten. Obviously when I traveled, I have a different stash of stuff in my suitcase. But here at home, of course, I have different deodorants. For instance, there was one that one of my followers recommended to me. I still have it. That thing is strong. Like if you just shave, don't use that. What? Oh, burn you down, girl. But um, I'm trying out these aluminum free deodorants, all natural deodorants and into it. What I can say is that it's almost like a lotion when it goes on in the sense to me that it doesn't dry quickly. So it's like when I'm getting ready out of the shower and I'm still kind of hot, it can feel milky, but right now I'm not sweaty and I just used it and my armpits don't feel wet at all. It feels like it dried or it doesn't feel, yeah, it doesn't feel wet. So yeah, there's that. All right, now on to skincare. Come true, come true. Uh, 
bad man Say she want, say she really want it, she try to be the one Ah, calm down, take it slow Say the key, I let my coming down me, I let my give you If you trippin', let me know what you really want Is it riding with me, or you really dirt? Then my girls, then my tell me that you really not Make up your mind, let me know if you really got no, 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 no crusty and like a problem I'm going to go do that right now i gotta say i've been resting since sunday and a, yeah, a little bit on saturday actually i've been resting since saturday because i had to remind myself that we are in summer when am i going to slow down and the good thing is i have a lot of youtube videos already filmed and i feel really good about that and i'm challenging myself reminding myself to prioritize rest and enjoyment because working too much just ain't it i need to do my hair i'm gonna crochet my hair for our vacation at the end of this month i need to buy the hair on amazon i'm gonna do my crochet that's like brown and what like brown and caramel type color I've done it before. Two years ago when we went on vacation, I did it and I just love it for vacation. It just looks good. I don't want to do dark hair by the water. It's not about light hair that just makes me happy. I did my nails yesterday. It was time. I thought I ran out of acetone, but turns out I did have some right here. So I soaked them real fast. It didn't take long. You do have to, this was the gel that I had from Hollywood. You do have to buff it down, buff down the top layer. And I forgot to do that. They're mowing over there. I forgot to do that. So I was soaking and I'm like, what's going on? And I forgot. So acetone dries fast. So I took it out of the, the thing. Ask it's me, who I know from you? Hi. Hey. Hi. <laughs> That's it. Okay, come on. Let's play Big Boss. We're playing Connect Four. And mommy's gonna win. No, you're not. Yeah, sure. You're, you're being silly. <laughs> I'm being silly. Well, she said, "Maybe may you silly, maybe you silly." <laughs> I'm not going sideways at all. Okay. I'm going on the other way. Yeah, going the other way. Yeah. Okay. Let's see who's gonna win. I'm obviously gonna win. Obviously gonna win. Yeah, yeah, sure. You have to go here. How can you tell me where to go? You have to go in your own spot. Why to be there? I have to go where I want to go. No. Maybe I want to go there. Oh. Maybe I want to go there. <laughs> no. I'm no, saying it. you are blocking day. I'm blocking. How can you do that? Maybe I want to go there. <laughs> you and Safra. You and Safra. Go go. That's just me. <laughs> go go. You you. <laughs> Go. You and Safra, as yes, it's me, I want to go there. I want to put my. No! Eddie? You go here. As yes, it's me, I want to go right there. No, you have to go here. No, 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 no. I want to go right there. I want to go right there. No. Okay, okay, let me close my eyes and see where I'll go. <laughs> What's it? What's it? 
any mini money more catch a tiger by the door if you holla let her go out goes any money any hey yeah kind of saying out goes y o u <laughs> let me go let me go here ah adia adia sam any mini money go any mini money go any mini money go we we haven't taught you this is what we are we haven't taught you yet i want to go right here no. Adia? No, you're not. You're I, I, I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. That's why I want to go. Okay. <laughs> no. Let me close my eyes. Lord Jesus, where do you want mommy to go? I think you want me to go here. Let me go here. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Should I win the game? Should I allow Nini to win the game? Mama Njune? Yes. Okay. Mommy wants to win the game. Or mommy's going to block you. I gotta block you. Um, I'm gonna keep this here forever. You're gonna put your finger there. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. I'll go here. Thank you. Connect four. Connect twine. <laughs> Connect twine. Connect four. Connect twine. Connect four. Oh boy. Look. You are not serious. Listen, good morning. Hi and hello. I have been doing a lot of research on psychological principles, practices, things. It really is so intriguing. I stumbled upon Dr. Tracy Marks on YouTube. I watch a lot of YouTube, not a lot of television, more YouTube, right? Oh, this pajama, I'll link it below if you want it. It's an, oh, did I spill something? I spilled something. <laughs> I didn't notice that. All right, anyway, okay. So Dr. Tracy Marks, she's a black woman, black doctor on YouTube, love her. She's almost, she's over a half a mil and she talks all things therapy, psychology, right? So fantastic. I've been watching so many videos, even videos on things that I know don't pertain to me, but it will be helpful just in relationships in general. Of course, you have a marriage relationship, you've got a parental relationship, a sibling relationship, friendships, online ships, in general ships and i am always looking to grow in all areas so watching these videos has been so eye-opening for me right now i'm watching a video titled poor communicator or the silent treatment question mark how to deal with it this is good stuff i also in the bathroom while i was getting ready was watching one i'm gonna do my hair and fix it up we're gonna make it look good okay I was watching a video on, dang, I wish I had a spray. I want something to dampen my hair, but it's fine. On toxic relationships. It was called How to Spot a Toxic Relationship. And I was watching it and I was like, bless God. I mean, there were times where I did some of these things. But over the years in self-discovery, in growth and awareness, I realize that it's not okay. So when I watch these videos, I'm not like watching it to be all like, oh yeah, I know who that is, that's so-and-so, that's so-and-so. Sometimes I'm like, ooh, uh -huh. you, you reading my book right now, okay? So uh, very helpful. I don't know about you. I don't know how much introspective work that you do. It's really important to me. Yeah, we live this life and we enjoying and we doing all of this and all of that, but what are you really about? What are you really trying to do with yourself? Aside from, you know, look good, feel good, enjoy life. Believe me, you ain't got to tell me twice about all of that. Okay, hello. I'm very, very big on enjoying my life. But there's something to be said about personal growth. Where's my head? Where's my... I'm trying to find my wig. I, these wig caps. I got one right here. You know, there's something to be said about personal growth. So... There was one I watched about bipolar. Was it bipolar? No, I'm going to watch the bipolar one. Because not that I'm walking around diagnosing people, but when you know a lot, you understand people a lot more. I'm using ebb and edge control. Then you know how to deal with them. You can identify if you're being toxic. You can identify if someone else is behaving in a toxic manner. Then watching videos like this and or being in therapy, because I am in therapy, you saw earlier this week, then you know how to handle people. You know what is necessary, what's going to work and what's not going to work. If someone has an explosive personality, how do you deal with that? I love one point she made about 
distancing yourself from people. And it's not always a physical distance. You can emotionally distance yourself from people. That really touched me. I was like, wait, because sometimes perhaps you have a, a toxic relationship with someone that you can't get rid of necessarily for whatever reason, right? And for that reason, in order to maintain, oh my God, and there was a video I watched too about emotional intelligence. I was like, oh my gosh. But I'll talk about that in a second or I'll, whatever. You just go look her up. Black woman, Dr. Tracy Marks, T-R-A-C-E-Y. Just fantastic. And I'm like, yo, so, you know, depending on who the person is that is toxic it, or displays toxic behaviors in your life, if you can't distance yourself from them physically, then perhaps or not like too much, then perhaps you distance yourself emotionally. So it's like, yeah, we're still family or we're still whatever. I'm not talking about anybody specific. I'm just giving the example. But then you're like, I'm just emotionally not going to go there with you. And there was one video too where she was talking about emotional intelligence and I really had to think because you know how maybe a friend can call you and then they're just angry, upset, whatever, telling you a story. It's emotionally charged. It's all the things, right? If you were just previously, prior to answering their phone call, laughing, feeling joyful, feeling great, and now when they call you, you're tense, your jaw is clenching up, you're starting to get a headache, you're starting to whatever, what it is is they've transferred all of their, or they've transferred, or you've received the spirit of their anger. You've received whatever they're sharing with you, right? Then that means that you are, according to Dr. Tracy Marks, and I'm sure this is based on science, it means that you are emotionally unintelligent. I was like, I thought I was just being empathetic. Yeah, it's a level of emotional unintel, a low, what she said was a low emotional intelligence. I was like, what? So I can be, I have the tendency to be, um, what, have a low emotional intelligence because I'm the kind of person where I, and she wasn't talking necessarily about empaths. She was just, she wasn't talking, she said that. She was like, this is not about empaths or whatever. But she's like, you know, it's one thing to empathize with, empathize with people. But then when it, when, when something like that, like in that example, for instance, if it like ruins your moment or your mood or something like that, then you have low emotional intelligence because it made me think about even therapists. Say you have a therapist and you're emotional, you're crying or whatever. Your therapist is just sitting looking at you. Yeah, they're going to empathize and say, I know this is hard. It looks, I can see that this is hard for you. I can see that this is bothering you and I'm sorry. They'll say all that, but they're going to cry with you. They're going to just sit there. Because number one, it's unprofessional. And number two, it's not helpful. And number three, they've practiced and learned to be emotionally intelligent, at least in the therapeutic setting. Now, who knows what happens in their lives? Because, you know, it's like some doctors who are overweight, who smoke cigarettes and what have you. Just because they're a doctor don't mean that they're able to follow their own advice. You know what I'm saying? So when she gave that example, and I just like watching the video, look, mind you, this is like laying down really well. I don't plan on being in the heat too much, so I, I'm not worried about this lifting. This is not going to lift. Uh, this is not going to hold you down if you're going to be in the heat a lot. This ain't it. You want to use Eben, excuse me, you want to use Got To Be Glue, which is waterproof from sweat and stuff. This will lift if you start to sweat on the hairline. But I don't plan on doing too, I don't plan on doing a rigorous activity today, so it's going to do me, it's going to do me good. So yeah, it just really it made me think. I'm like, I need to get a better handle of this. Yes, I feel the emotions of people, but and it, and it it will it will ruin my day. It will ruin my my mood for some time. If if someone calls me and tells me a very tragic story or you know something really heartfelt, it, like I literally take on the feeling and it just wrecks me. And I'm like, I don't want to be emotionally unintelligent. Yeah, it's one thing to care, but it shouldn't be something that incapacitates me for any any amount of time. So it just really made me think like, yo, you know, because you might have someone that calls you to vent or it could be just a, a, a one off. Something is going on with whoever in your life, friend, family, spouse, whatever. And, and she even gave an example, like, <laughs> she gave an example, right, where she was like, you know, take, for instance, you have a boyfriend or whatever, spouse, and he has a bad day or something goes bad with him. But then here you are, you like, you, you talk to him, you empathize, okay, but then here you are getting ready to go to 
love to do girlfriends. And then the person is like, where are you going? You're like, oh, I'm going, I'm, you know, I already told you I had a meeting with Juan Juan today. And you're like, and the, and the, the person is like, how could you go do that when I just told you that this just happened to me? Like I just had a tragic whatever, right? Or not, not, let's not, let's not call it like a death. Like I just had a bad day. Like, why are you leaving? You should be, why aren't you staying here with me to, I don't know, stay here with me. And then she was saying, and for instance, in that example, not only is it manipulative, but then if you feel bad and then you stay, oh, I can't say it the way she said it. You just have to watch the video because it, it made me think like, wow, you know, I get that where maybe... Uh, maybe, I don't know, you, you know, you might, someone might tell you something and then you're like, oh man, I understand this is so, 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 so. But then if you go about your life in a sense, then now maybe that person is like, well, how could you, how could you be out here going out, hanging out, smiling, laughing when I just told you that this is, this is, this. It doesn't mean that you don't care. It just means that you're emotionally intelligent in the sense that you're not going to let that ruin your day. So it just made me think. I may not be explaining it in a way that is very clear. Come and let me know if you if you understand what I'm saying, if you if it makes any sense, what thoughts you have on what I just shared. Again, I'm it's making me think. I mean, I didn't go and study psychology, but I, I'm very, very intrigued by all of these conversations. I'm going to put my wig on. Just very intrigued by it. It's just so important, just to, again, to understand people, people, human beings, we are very complex, just complex people. And this is just good stuff all around to really further understand people. Like you live life with people. And it's easy to be like, oh, I don't like people. I like to be alone. I don't like, you know, you might meet somebody or you might be someone who's like, uh -uh, I don't do friends. I don't do girls. I don't I don't have women friends. I, I don't get along with women or, you know, women are too this and too that. You, you watch some of these things or you go through therapy. You can really understand why you say that and why other people are the way they are. She's, she's talked about, she's talked about, uh, let's see, this is even like kind of curling. See? See, it's curling a little bit. I wish it would just stay. She talked about, did she talk about difficult people? Or was that, I don't know. I've watched so many of her videos in the past several days. I don't know what is what. They're all mixing together in my head. But so, so good. I want you to comment and let me know if you, do you journey into learning or you just live in life day by day? Like, are you just waking up and going with the tide of the wind? Or are you being intentional about just learning how to be a better person, learning more about different topics that you ha don't know anything about. Do you seek out the knowledge you want to learn or do you, are you just content with where you are and you have no intention to grow in any way? I'm just curious because I sure the heck am not the latter. I'm more the former. I want to know a lot of things. Doesn't I'm not limited to just what I studied in college. Girl, first of all, if you ask me about what I studied in college, I can't even tell you, okay? Grad school was 12 years ago, okay? No one has time for that. Like, ugh, I'm trying to get my way. Like, what you mean? You know what I'm saying? So I just, as a grown woman, it's just good to keep keep learning. All right, now here is my curly wig. You see what I'm saying? I did buy another one because I am a little obsessed with these headband wigs. Oh, I kept the strap on in the back just for ease. Ooh, these nails. I'm just gonna tuck it in here. And this is great for the summertime. It's gonna be all good in the water because look, it has three combs. It's hard to put this on with nails. It has three combs. It ain't going nowhere. It ain't gonna come off your head, all right? And it has the strap in the back and a comb in the back. Like, what's the problem? So if you're trying to get something for the summertime, this is cool, unless you wanna go the straight route. I washed this hair some days ago. And then I put product in it. I put this Pantene Gold Series product in it that I got from the box that actually you might have gotten when I did the campaign with Dollar General. Remember there was a box, a goodie box? What do they call it? I don't know. It was a box full of stuff. Like it was heavy. That's one of the products that was in it from Dollar General. And I've been enjoying it. I'm putting it on my wigs. You know, I don't do leave out styles with my curls set the poof when I do that I use gel so I've been putting that on my wigs and I like it I just left the hair so this is how it dried from when I washed it 
but obviously you put your fingers through it a little bit it makes them softer takes the hardness away it smells pretty simple like nothing right just bring your fingers through it no need to comb I just had it on a wig head over here on my desk and then here we are I'm not gonna finger it through it too much because look now it's getting frizzy let me slow down let me just do the back a little bit and call it a night all right I'm about to put on my jewelry and film three or four videos or something three or four pieces of content put it that way yeah you can you can take some edge control and like edge like get this down if it's too frizzy for you but I'm okay with it. I'm gonna put a headband on this just to jazz it up a little bit, put my jewelry on, and I'm gonna film with this on. I like this pajama set because it looks like an outfit. You know how the pajama outfit is a thing? It looks like an outfit, but it's actually pajamas. There's some pajama sets like this that are literally outfits, but then this one is literally pajamas. <laughs> but the top is cute, so here we are. Okay, listen, I just finished filming this look and I gotta tell you how I feel about two of these Nima Tang Dose of Colors lippies. They're not for me. First of all, I gave away the red liner, the coral, because I don't use liners enough and I don't use colored liner. I use, I know brown is a color. I use, if I were to use a brown, if I were to use a lip liner, it would be brown. It wouldn't be that red. So I did give that away. I bought the two, I bought the brown and the coral pack. My issue with the darker color, let me explain to you. So I have on the lip liner, which to me looks close to black. And I get it if you have a deep skin tone in order for it to show up on you, but not for you not to be using a black eyeliner this is perfect but on me this color chocolate chip lip liner is far too dark so when I applied the and these are beautiful by the way when I applied penny on my lip I applied it over the line so that it could blend more like an ombre but the the two of them together are just far too dark so I have the lip stain the liquid matte lip stain liquid matte like to see it I know that this is going to be, like I swatched it, it looks like almost black on me. So this is not going to be the kind of lip stain that I would use to ombre like I normally do. I love using the Lip Bar Savage, which is a burgundy type of brown, which is really beautiful, mixes well with other colors. This one's going to be way too dark on me. Now, I could use this as an all over lip color to do a dark type vamp look, but I don't do vamp looks. This looks beautiful the product looks beautiful right like i want to keep it simply because the product looks gorgeous but am i gonna wear it no so if i were i would have to intentionally do a dark vampy type look which i can do just because i want to try it out but look at how dark it is and again this is because of my skin tone on my skin tone this is really really deep and it even looks like it has a little bit of olive in it, which I'm sure looks fantastic on deeper skin tones. So I'm torn right now, obviously. I'm torn. I'm torn because <laughs> I want to wear these, but it ain't, it ain't going to look the way I want it to look on me and my skin tone. So obviously I already have this lip on. I'm going to keep it. Am I going to wear it again? No. The chocolate chip is just too neutral for me. It just doesn't pull up my boat off on my or if I'm my lost remote. So I'm putting it with a stash of stuff that I've tried but don't want to use anymore. This one, I'm gonna challenge myself one day and do a vampy type look video and I'm gonna use this. As far as the uh, the corals are concerned, I believe I'll love those more. So I look forward to using. Oh, and I also, this came as a freebie. Or did I just buy this? Dose of Colors Macchiato. This is a nice cream, almost not too peach, caramel, caramel, like a light caramel, beige caramel type of gloss, which I do enjoy. So yeah, I have this. This wasn't part of it. I think this was a freebie. So yeah, cool. I, I, I made, I recorded this look for IGTV. So you'll be able to see it with all of the details there. So yeah, there's that.